So we thought we'd do a short video on our poly nukes, our six frame panes polystyrene nukes. Um, just because we're going through them today, we've got a busy day ahead and we're prepping them for customers to collect tomorrow morning. So the reason we send ours out in our poly nukes is we know they work. Uh, they've overwintered in these, they do really well and we have the benefit of having a travel screen with them so once we've prepped them so this is ready to go we found the queen she's marked red for 2023 it's got four frames of brood and we put uh two frames of pollen stores some of them will have four frames of brood in all stages so by that we mean eggs, larvae and the capped sealed brood or some might have five and then once they're ready and prepped um, we'll then just put the travel screen over the top like that and we will tape that up um, and then it'll be ready for the customer to collect early tomorrow morning so hours are not left uh, closed up for any long period of time we'll come in very early tomorrow morning and we'll close them up tomorrow morning um, before they start flying um, we'll carry them up uh, to our collection point and they'll be ready to go so no long periods where they're just sat um, in a storage area um, sealed up and no corex boxes for us we like these because they've got the open mesh floor and they've got the ventilation there so plenty of ventilation for them uh, when they're waiting to be collected and they're not sat in transit um, in a in a box with little ventilation <laughs> so it works for us and it obviously works for a lot of other bee farmers and suppliers because our polynukes are really um, popular for other suppliers to buy from us and sell their bees in them too um, so that's the benefit of those over the pot over the corex boxes that's why we don't do corex we only send ours out in these um, so let's have a look at uh, another one <coughs> so this one's not been prepped yet roger's got the job of looking for the queen somewhere in here She's obviously somewhere. She's either on the first frame and we're really lucky or she's in the last frame. Um, it's always a way. These ones have overwintered on um, a nuke and extension. And if they've been really big, once we've got them back to the farm, we've just put a top box on this one just so they've got a little bit more space until um, we go through them. So this is our next step, go through them. Any splits that we make, we'll then take out to another apiary. We've started queen rearing, so we've got queens coming out next week and they'll go into all the splits that we're currently making, which is quite a few, obviously she's not in the top box, is that the top box? That's the top box. And that's the middle? The middle. Okay. So, yeah, she's a really good, this is a really good size nuke. Lots of bees. Another benefit of our poly nukes over the Corex is, and us asking our customers to collect, is that we can get more bees in them. Um, they go out bigger than the Corex box just because you obviously haven't got that worry of them being shut up overnight and then overheating in the corex box whilst it's in transit for 24 hours or so so yeah another benefit we've got of ours so we've had a good few weeks sending out our nukes it's starting to slow down a bit we've just got some more standard nukes to go and then go through our Langstroth ones and we've got some jumbo ones as well to prep so 
we'll get on with it. Lots to do today once the nukes are prepped. Ah, oh, we've got her. Whereabouts is she? Down there. Ah, uh, yeah. So she'll go in our trusty um, one handed queen catcher. Um, which is a fantastic piece of kit. We can then keep her safe while we go through the rest of the hive. So we do like to use those. We're just going to mark her red for 2023. So our new queens that are going to be coming out next week are going to be marked green for 2024. So we keep her there, keep her safe. And then we'll go through this hive and see what we've got. Once these are done, we'll then take the splits out and I think we've got quite a lot of equipment building up here, extension boxes, so we're going to try and take those out back to um, one of our sites as well to store them. And if we've got any more time after that, then we'll do a bit of feeding here as well. So uh, there we go. Why we send our bees out in Payne's poly nukes rather than Corex boxes. So another key benefit of using the Payne's poly nuke uh, for your bee collections or if you wish to deliver, send them out to your customers in them, is it's another colony, it's another hive for them to have uh, rather than just a Corex box which is a temporary hive you wouldn't keep it in a Corox box all winter. You can use these to keep them in all winter and overwinter them. So in the winter time, we just add another extension box. And then when they've been brought back to the farm, if they're really big, we'll add another box on top just to give them that room. But it's another hive to use, another addition to your apiary. You can use it to take to pollination and add a queen excluder and we do a range um, of other components like supers so very easy to pick up on your own and transport if you don't wish to run a full-size hive of 11 frames because of the size of it the weight these are perfect as i said you've got extension boxes to go on top we have eeks to make it a 14 by 12 or feed fondant in the winter and of course you've got the side feeder. We do also sell top feeders for those that don't want to use a side feeder, but we designed it like that because we like the side feeder. We don't send ours out by post, but a lot of people who buy our polynukes do send them by post. And because of the ventilated floor and the travel screen, then they've got that additional ventilation so that it works really well. So you can also buy it just with the polynuke and the travel screen so there's no need to buy them with the roof as well as a travel screen or the cover board we can sell them however you want so there you go the benefits of our polynuke we've got more to get on and do so we'll go and get that done